Your doctor has recommended a coronary angioplasty with stent placement procedure. Before we talk about this procedure, let's review some information about your body and why this procedure may be needed. Your heart is in the middle of your chest, under your ribs. It is the muscle that pumps blood to the rest of your body. Blood flows through tubes called blood vessels. Arteries are strong blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to all parts of the body. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood back to the heart. The heart muscle is supplied with oxygen-rich blood by two coronary arteries. There is a right and a left coronary artery. These arteries can be blocked by plaque. This is called coronary artery disease or heart disease. Plaque is made of fat and calcium that builds slowly over many years. Severe plaque blockages cause chest pain and heart attacks. Treatment of coronary artery disease is based on several factors, including your other existing medical problems, particularly diabetes, as well as how many arteries are blocked and how severe and where the arteries are blocked. Non-invasive recommendations can include lifestyle changes like improving your diet, starting an exercise routine, and finding ways to manage your stress. Also, quitting smoking and making changes in medications. Common procedures to treat coronary artery disease include open heart bypass surgery to replace blocked arteries and angioplasty to improve blood flow through the blockages. A heart catheterization procedure, also called a cardiac cath, is needed to decide which treatment option is appropriate for you. A cardiac cath is the first step of an angioplasty procedure. It may be recommended when a blockage is suspected with a heart attack, chest pain, and shortness of breath. To do a cardiac cath, a cardiologist places a thin tube called a catheter through an artery in your leg or arm to reach your heart. The femoral artery in the leg is commonly used. The catheter is inserted into the artery in the groin, then guided to reach the heart. The radial artery in the arm is another site where a catheter can be placed. The catheter is inserted at the wrist, then guided to reach the heart. Which artery is selected for the procedure depends on your personal situation and the experience and training of your cardiologist. Contrast dye that can be seen with an x-ray machine is then given through the catheter. X-ray pictures and video show the contrast dye moving through the heart and coronary arteries. If appropriate, an angioplasty is done this procedure makes use of the catheter to guide tools to open clogged arteries. Wire mesh stent devices may be placed. An open bypass surgery can be necessary or become your only option based on findings during the cardiac cath, for example, large blockages and bleeding. Open surgery is more invasive and has a longer hospital stay and recovery. Now let's look closer at the coronary angioplasty with stent procedure. To start, you will be positioned carefully on an x-ray table. You will be given medication to help you relax since you will be awake for the procedure. The skin over an artery of your leg, arm, or wrist is cleaned, then numbed with local anesthetic. You will feel a sting and burn that lasts only a few seconds. A small cut is made over the artery and a guide for the catheter is placed. You may feel pressure, but you should not feel pain. A long catheter is then placed in the artery and guided to reach your heart. Dye is given through the catheter and the X-ray camera is used to watch it flow through your heart. If the cardiologist identifies an artery to be treated with an angioplasty procedure, the catheter is guided to the blockage. A guide wire is placed through the catheter to the site. A deflated balloon catheter is positioned in the blockage. 
The balloon is inflated, pushing against the plaque and opening the artery for more blood to flow. The balloon is then emptied and the catheter removed. If a stent is to be placed, a balloon with a wire mesh device is guided into the blockage. The balloon is filled, opening the artery and putting the stent into position. The permanent stent supports and holds the artery open after the balloon is removed. If there is more than one blockage, the catheter is moved to the next site and the process is repeated. At the end of the procedure, blood flow through the treated arteries is checked, then the catheter and guide wire are withdrawn. Gentle pressure, a stitch, a patch or a plug is used to prevent bleeding from the artery. The incision is covered with a dressing. After the procedure, speak up and tell your care team if you have more than expected pain or problems. If your leg artery was used for the catheter, you must lie flat for up to six hours after the procedure to prevent bleeding from the site. How long you must lie flat depends on how the artery was sealed. If the artery was patched or plugged, you may be able to move sooner. An angioplasty is a common, minimally invasive procedure. Rarely, serious problems can happen. Risks include having a reaction to the dye, bleeding, damage to an artery or the heart, stroke, heart attack, and even death. You are monitored closely during and after the procedure so your care team can recognize and prevent complications. You can help by telling the staff about any problems you are having. At the catheter site, mild soreness and bruising is normal. Rarely, bleeding and infection can happen. Help prevent problems by following your doctor's instructions carefully. During the first week after the procedure, rest as needed. Do not exercise or lift anything more than 10 pounds. Wear loose clothing and do not swim or soak in a tub. You may be asked to drink extra water and or other liquids to help your kidneys flush the contrast dye from your body. What to drink and how much will be different for you if you have diabetes, a history of heart failure, or kidney disease. Keep your incision clean and dry. Remove the dressing as listed in your instructions. Wash gently and pat dry every day. And do not rub the incision. Call your doctor if you have a fever, worsening pain, swelling, or redness at your incision site. Call 911 if you have chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, bleeding that doesn't stop, and any other sign that you may be having a complication from the procedure. Hospital admission, medication, or surgery may be needed to correct some problems. Angioplasty is not a cure for heart disease. Keeping your heart healthy depends on you making lifestyle changes not smoking, controlling your blood sugar and blood pressure. You may need to take aspirin or other medications for months or years to prevent a blood clot, depending on your situation. This is critical to prevent a stent from becoming blocked. To avoid cancellation of your procedure or complications from anesthesia or your procedure, your job as the patient is to not eat, drink, or chew gum after midnight, the night before the procedure, unless you are given different instructions. Take medications you were told to on the morning of the procedure with a sip of water. Follow instructions regarding aspirin and blood thinners before surgery, as you may be asked to stop or continue taking them depending on your situation. And arrive on time. You should be ready to verify or confirm your list of medical problems and surgeries, all of your medications, including vitamins and supplements, your current smoking, alcohol, and drug use, and all allergies, especially to medications, latex, and tape. Before you have this procedure, it is your job to speak up and ask if you still have questions about why it is recommended for you, the risks, and alternatives. 
also understand the risk of not having the procedure. This video is intended as a tool to help you better understand the procedure that you are scheduled to have or are considering. It is not intended to replace any discussion, decision-making, or advice of your physician.